must admit I got a little bit upset about my failure before to uh, get this fire going and I know without just using primitive um, flint and steel uh, I know it's quite difficult to do it under these conditions especially if you don't have prepared dry uh, tinder uh, to put, put in your bird's nest, uh, nest to catch the flame. So uh, I know it's uh, quite a challenge to do it, but uh, still, of course, I got a little bit upset with the failure, uh, even though it was, you know, um, really, really easy to uh, get a fire going with a, uh, a lighter. But uh, uh, enjoying bushcraft, um, doing it with flint and steel, uh, not only under perfect conditions, um, is of course uh, what drives you to be better at what you do and and having fun uh, so i thought uh, i was going to give it one more one more go um, i prepared another bird's nest uh, this is just actually uh, still wet grass um, i did manage to find a some fern that was recently dry and in the middle here i just used my the back of my knife to scratch the fat wood to produce uh, even finer, finer material to put in the middle. So we will see, perhaps this will work and I will re redeem myself, at least in my own eyes. Um, uh, because really, what is the fun of just doing flint and steel fire when it's uh, in the middle of the summer or spring and you've got lots of, of dry material lying around everywhere, that's not really uh, the challenge. The challenge is during these conditions when it's uh, really wet um, and you got a mixture of snow and ice and so it's cold and wet. I think that's the, uh, that's the, the real real test to your skills. And, uh, so of course I would like to be able to succeed in, in this today but so one more try, we'll see what happens. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Put a little bit of charred material in the middle of my bird's nest as an extender. And grabbing some I'm do to catch the sparks. <laughs> okay. Now I feel better. So, uh, really, the, the trick to uh, getting this to work, um, as I see it now, was that it's still, this is still really uh, grass that's really, you know, working. Uh, uh, okay, so it can, uh, it can be done. Uh, even in these really, really uh, wet conditions, and you saw me fail before, so uh, it, did give, it did take me uh, a try or two to get this to work. But what I what I did to actually um, uh, improve and and get this to work was that uh, the, the finest material I was using in the first bird nest was not really fine enough. Um, that was my problem. Uh, so what I what I did for the second try was that I used the back of my knife and scraped on this fat wood to produce a really fine, fine dust. Oh. Oh. Like this. So I collected a bunch of that really really fine dust and put that in the middle of my, my tinder bundle um, and then I combine that with really fine shavings uh, like this 
that was a lot, a lot finer than the ones I used at first. So, uh, so really, really fine shavings combined with this dust. Uh, that's what actually um, made me able to blow that um, into a flame, even though um, the surrounding material was really wet. And that was the difference between um, the second try and uh, the first try, which um, 